Andrea. Huh? Andrea, where are you from originally? Where did you grow up? Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, a small town called Pleasant Valley. It's a suburb. Tell me about your childhood. You grew up with both parents, one parent? I started out with both parents, and they got a divorce, and I mostly grew up with my mom. Got it. And how was your childhood? Crappy. Why? I wasn't happy. I didn't have a happy childhood. What happened? They made it unhappy. I abused by most of my peers and childhood, most of my children's peers. I've been abused in my home life too by my father. That's why my parents got divorced. Sexually abused? Yes, dear. At what age? Uh, five and six years old. And what, what kind of stuff would happen? Oral sex, a finger in my vagina. Really? Yeah. From your dad? Right. And, and so, uh, what happened to your life as you as you got older in high school? How, how, what kind of kids were you in high school? I grew up well loved by my mother, but I really had very few friends, and I was very lonely. Mm. I grew up very lonely. I've had a, I've had a much more I had much more happy social life in my adult life. I'm sorry. I've had a much happier social life than my adult life. Oh, I see. And how long have you been down here in the street? On Skid Row? I've been down here since December 23rd, 2002. So you've been here for almost 20 years? Yeah, pretty much. And do you have kids of your own or anything like that? I have a grown son named Lance Edward Light. And did you raise him? No, my parents raised that. And uh, so, what, what is your drug here on the street? You mentioned spices. What uh, you yeah, I love I love two eleven beer and spice. Spice. Um, what does spice do for you? Oh, um, like like marijuana, extra strength. Yeah. Um, and if I, and if I get bit by things like bed bugs. They die immediately. <laughs> okay. um, and where do you sleep at night? I live over here. I have an indoor residence, but no, no toilet or shower. Over here on Town Avenue. So you, you actually have a room? Yeah, I have a room, but I have no toilet or shower. Okay. Do you have a bed there? Yeah. That's nice. Something. Yeah. I, I'm happy for that. I have a place indoors. Yeah. And what do you uh, what do you do for money? I'm on that side. Okay. What, what, what kind of did you have contact with your your mom still or anything like that? No, my mom passed away. So you're kind of on your own now. She, my mom passed away in 2005. Yeah, pretty much. Do you have any yeah. Do you have any friends? I have a few friends, no family. Uh, I'm happy with that. Yeah. And how do you spend your days? What do you What do you do for? Uh, I like to read my Bible. Uh, what do you do for fun? Uh, what do you do for fun? Do you do you smoke spice? Every day. Was that the, uh, what was the first drug you tried? I uh, drank alcohol. Alcohol? Wait a minute, no, it's cigarettes, tobacco before it did alcohol. Have you the, uh, tobacco is considered a drug, right? Yeah, I guess so. Have you, uh, have you tried cocaine or heroin or crystal meth? Uh, not heroin or crystal meth. I have tried cocaine before, right? A long time ago when I was in Florida. Uh, I'm not talking about crack, real cold. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I just want to remember what I'm going to say. Alright, y'all. Well, thank you so much. I don't remember. That's right. Huh? <laughs> thanks. Alright, John. Thank you so much for talking to me. And yeah. Good luck with everything out there. Oh, yeah, it's there.